The purpose of this video is to show you step by step how to find all of the long tail keyword phrases a website uses. Now you may be asking yourself what value is there in seeing which keyword phrases a website is optimizing for. The idea here is you're going to find a website that has lots of content showing up on the first page of Google so they've obviously created great content or they focused on really great keywords that there wasn't a lot of competition in. So what you're doing here is you're making the assumption that this site has already done their keywords research. So you're saving a lot of time because the website has done the keyword research for you instead of having to spend hours and hours to reinvent the wheel, you can just copy their success. The way you use this technique is let's pretend you want to be an affiliate marketer for training German Shepherd puppies. So what you would do is you would start by going to Google and typing that keyword phrase in. Now this, these are the Google first page search results for that keyword phrase, train German Shepherd puppies. First thing I'd advise you to do is ignore very high page rank authority websites, sites like, for example, wikihow.com. And the reason I say ignore these sites is because a big part of the reason their content shows up on the first page of Google is simply because they're an authority site and they have a high page rank. So this technique will not be nearly as effective if you try focusing on big well-established authority sites. What you want to look more for is sites where in the main domain there are some of the keyword phrases related to the keyword phrase you're trying to optimize your site for. For example, the dog training secret.com, dogs by ninja.com, my german shepherd.org, german shepherd academy, and you want to focus on using this technique on one of these sites. So what we'll do is let's say for example we'll pick this site, german shepherd academy.com. And what you do is you want to highlight with your mouse and copy to clipboard the URL. Go to the website xml-sitemaps.com, scroll down, put the full URL of that website in there so it starts with http colon slash slash www dot and the rest of the domain up until the dot com or dot org dot net. Don't worry about the rest of the settings. Click the start button and what this tool is going to do is it is going to find and list every single web page this website has. And what I'm going to do is let this tool do its thing. I'm going to pause the video and come back in a couple of minutes when it's done. And when the website is done doing its thing, you're going to get this message here. Your sitemap is ready. Scroll down and look for where it says urllist.txt. Click on that and download it to your computer. Then what you want to do is double click it to open it up. Now, first thing you're going to notice is it looks like a jumbled mess because the way the sitemap tool works, the URL list output, it doesn't put each web page on its own line. It kind of runs one web site. URL after the other after the other. So what you have to do is look for the HTTP part which designates the beginning of the web page and put each of the web page URLs on its own line. I'm going to do that now, pause the video and come back when I'm done. Now what we have is each of the web pages of that website are on its own separate line. To further make this more readable, what you want to do is, first off, the first few entries you can delete because they're usually the about page, the contact us page of the website, and they're of no value to us in terms of extracting keywords. And the other thing you want to do is you want to remove any of the web pages with the word tag in them. Any of the web page listings that you see the word tag uh, in between two slashes like this, like here, you want to remove those lines. So I'm going to do that now. I'll pause the video, come back when done. Now the last step in this process, what you want to do is remove everything except what's between the last two slashes. Everything before that are directories and not the actual page name. You want to save what's in between the very last two forward slashes. So the last step is to remove everything else from each line. I'll do that now, pause the video and come back momentarily. Now what you are left with is the 
actual name of each of the pages that make up that website and only that. And if you look at each of these names in the list, it becomes very clear what long tail keyword phrase this website owner was concentrating on with each of the pages. The history of German Shepherds. Why is your German Shepherd not listening to you? Positive reinforcement versus negative reinforcement dog training. So what you want to do is at this point create a web page each of these long tail keyword phrases on your own site. So go to your own site on German Shepherd Puppy Training and now make a web page. The history of German Shepherds. Why is your German Shepherd not listening, listening to you? Make a very similar or identical title focused around each of these keywords. But here you go. You have the keyword research already done for you by somebody else. These are going to be keywords that they've researched that don't have a ton of competition. And by using these keyword phrases yourself, you're going to have a really good chance of a lot of your content showing up higher in the search engine rankings.